It is that time of year. It is finally time for my 2023 favorites. I'm going to be telling you all about the makeup that I have been enjoying the most this year. That gets me the most excited. Is the best quality I love the most and would highly recommend to you. So let's get into it. So I have to preface this video by saying that this has been one of the hardest years to curate my favorites. And that is because it has been an amazing, amazing makeup year. So I'm also going to be recommending to you in the description box some videos that I did on really great makeup. I would highly recommend checking out those videos as well because there's much much more than what I am mentioning in this video. But I had to kind of like edit myself, I had to be firm with myself and even now I have a big box of like favorite makeup like there's a lot here but there are so many things that just missed this video by a hair by a hair and are still amazing so this is just a tippy tippy top but there is much more on my channel from this past year all right let's start with one of my favorite categories for the year like i've been enjoying a lot of lip products i had a few years there where i wasn't enjoying lip products that much i wasn't really using a lot of different lip products i was very like sticking to the things i knew i didn't feel like i needed much more but now i've been really really trying a lot of things you could also see that in my lip declutter i just i've acquired a lot of lip products one of the formulas i don't know if it's still around if you can still find it but this was just an amazing launch from kika milano one of the formulas that i've enjoyed the most is the kika milano beauty essentials 3d effect lip gloss i have three of the shades there was one more but i have to say these are pretty sheer but beautifully sparkly, very shiny, very 3D looking on the lips. They make your lips look juicy without being too thick. This formula is very hydrating. It feels beautiful, like really nice on the lips. It's just in between like a thicker and a thinner lip gloss. Just that right perfect in between and they just look so so good on the lips my favorite personally is the more toned down red one this is a little bit more color to it but it's still kind of like subtle so for a softer makeup day i'll just throw that on to add a little bit of freshness to the face and i really love a shade like that the cooler tone pink and the peach really nice on their own as well but i really love those on top of other lip products as well it really works well like that i really love these and i just feel like kika milano has come out with some really great lip products this past year like i'm very excited about a lot of things that they've done another thing from the same collection like this collection was the great lip products collection is the kika milano Beauty Essentials Hydrating Shiny Lipstick. I have two of the shades and the reason why I put these in my favorites is because these undertones are absolutely amazing. I love this formula, but it's not new. It's something that we've seen from Kika Milano before, but just these tones are so amazing. I'm wearing one of these today. I'm wearing shade 02. By the way, I filmed this look. I filmed the Get Ready With Me. It's gonna be up after this video, probably a few days later, if you see this video when it is posted. It will be up soon but i really love these shiny but not like sticky or goopy or too glossy kind of lip product is really like this beautiful like in between a gloss and a stick and a set in lipstick kind of shine which makes it also less very beautiful throughout the day and it just looks very flattering on the lips and this is really like this toned down red which i really love i love kind of like a nude asia red it's just the type of red that I like to wear that I find the most flattering on myself gets me really excited then we have kind of like this toned down purple shade almost this is 03 and this is kind of like if a purple were nude and this is also a type of shade that I love this is what I always go for I feel like this is so flattering and easy to wear for me personally I love a little bit of a hint of purple in my lip products but not too bright just a hint which makes it a little fresh I'm just gonna continue with Kiki Milano lip products just to get it out of the way because there's a lot here so one discovery of the year that I've been really excited about I feel like this is in my top three lipsticks of all time this is the powerful love stunning creamy lipstick in 01 from Kika Milano of course and I love the packaging of this beautiful rose gold bullet and it is magnetic and then when you turn it up it is kind of like this marbled effect lipstick which is really really cool but it just adds to how amazing this product really is. I 
have discovered because of this lipstick that I love a pink leaning very light nude lipstick this is not gonna work for everyone but for me I felt like it looks super flattering also like the creaminess of the shade is beautiful it is sometimes a lighter lipstick will kind of cling to dry patches on my lips I have very dry lips this doesn't do that it's just smooth over it looks plump it looks amazing it just looks slightly shiny a little bit more to the satin side I love the formula I love the shade of this and the shade kind of like opened the doors to more cool toned lighter nudes because I had been kind of trying more peachy lighter nudes but I feel like these cool tone lighter nudes just work a little better on me and I feel like I can really make them work with a little bit of a lip liner I've just been really excited about this kind of shade I've just discovered that I like it on me then my favorite liquid lipstick formula from Kiko Milano in this past year that they've launched is the Elastic Metaphil liquid lip color these are really nice the thing about these is that they are not crepey or drying or tuggy they're just very thin and lightweight they are not hydrating liquid lipsticks they are not a setting sheen they are not gonna transfer they are not that kind of liquid lipstick they are a fully dry down liquid lipstick but because they are so thin they feel very comfortable and they are just very nicely wearing i really really like this just because how thin they are it just feels so like lightweight like a, a thin layer on your lips it's almost not noticeable i really really like these these are also very affordable and i really like the shades that i have i have shade 05 and i have shade 07 this one is a little bit more lighter and lilac -y nude which i love once again and this one is a little bit more rosy but both of these are just very fresh shade for someone with a light skin tone cool to neutral kind of skin tone this is just like amazing shades with a really nice formula i really enjoyed these i have shorts on my channel trying these out i have a video on my channel trying these out so if you want to see these on the lips there's enough content about them all right i i did i really like did my best to be specific like very like be picky with my lip products but we still have more i'm just gonna grab them all and i have one more kiko milano this is the kiko milano jelly lip stylo and this is in the shade 501 this specifically this specific shade the other jelly lip stylos are different this is a very see-through very sparkly but with teeny tiny sparkles of lip balm and this that creates the most beautiful wet look on the lips it looks beautiful with a bit of a lip liner it just it looks beautiful on its own it is like this wet look sheen that i haven't seen any other lip product have it is just stunning it is beautiful it looks magical on the lips there's something about this formula i wish the other shades had this formula with the slight sparkle that just looks so effortlessly beautiful i don't know why i hear no one talking about this this specific shade is gorgeous it is also like feeling very hydrating on the lips makes your lips look absolutely beautiful and plump and just very nice then let's talk about the lunar beauty lip products that they launched this past year i have really enjoyed the icon lipstick as i said i've been enjoying kind of like cooler toned um kind of like light leaning nude lipsticks and this is just the right tone of that but then in a matte formula and i've just been really really liking this because when you apply this one it's kind of like a base for a lip gloss it doesn't get smeary because it's a matte lipstick so i kind of like having that type of tone in a cream lipstick and then also in a matte lipstick like this this is a very comfortable formula it is like a comfort matte it looks really nice on the lips it's kind of smooth over everything it is a very flat Lettering lipstick formula i also like the other colors that i have but this has just been my favorite i feel like maybe this one is a little bit more peachy than the kiko one but i've been enjoying wearing this one a lot and i really like wearing it with a milk tea lip pencil this has been my favorite lip pencil of the year and it might be my favorite lip pencil overall because it's very precise it's just that perfect combination like in between creamy pigmented and a little bit more dry so you can draw precise precise lines and it's gonna stay on i am wearing this one today i think this is a great formula a great color looking at it in the like bullet or looking at this it's 
seems like it's gonna be a little bit more warm but then when i actually apply it it is like more of that cool tone contour shade i don't know how that happened but i really really love this shade on myself it kind of like adds some dimension to lip looks then my favorite liquid lip balm in my collection this is so beautiful this is the catrice marvelicious liquid lip balm and specifically i really like this shade don't slurp so loud 020 the other shades like they are not all the same exact formula like they are as um flattering and juicy looking and soft feeling on the lips but some of these have a little bit more shimmer than others this this one doesn't have shimmer it looks more creamy on the lips this is really like this my lips but better kind of mop shade and i just feel like this is so easy to throw on it looks effortless it looks beautiful it once again smooths over everything and makes sure lips look perfected i really really love this formula it is very hydrating and it's just a great product you just throw on it is not goopy it is really really nice in between kind of like a thinner lip oil kind of product and a thicker like lip treatment it's just in between in a very nice way that's really really easy to wear one that is a little thicker so maybe not for everyone but i really enjoyed it because i have really dry lips this is the catrice tinted lip oil in gloss and glow this is specifically the shade that i really like because the other shade that i tried and my sister also tried one of the shades they both went they both went really really bright pink and this becomes a very soft cute like slight addition of color and it's just this has a very like thick doe foot to apply and it's just very thick and hydrating and glossy and it just feels like kind of like a lip treatment on the lips and then it gets a slight tint it really works for me i really like it um but i feel like this catrice liquid lip balm it's a little bit more for everyone because it's not as thick then one like definitely one of my favorite lip products that i've discovered this year i didn't even want to buy this but then i saw that these weren't supposed to transfer so i tried them out and they're actually very long lasting these are the flower nose it says it in chinese so i don't know the exact name right now but these are the shine lipsticks from the swan ballet collection i got two of the shades this one is this one is 04 and this is kind of like a like cool tone mauve shade and then I also have 02. It's also kind of like a cool tone mauve shade but this is a little bit deeper. These are very shiny, um, not goopy. They look amazing on the lips. They are very easy to wear and they don't wear off quickly. Like you're definitely still gonna see the shine in the color after eating and it's just you're gonna feel that hydration throughout the day. These have a slight, slight stick to them, but nothing that is uncomfortable, but something that just keeps them on a little bit. Like some of these type of products that are kind of like this gloss and a stick, they are very smooth, they are very silky, but then you eat something and they disappear. It's like a lip gloss. But these are just a little bit more like strong hold and I actually really like it. I really like something that will just stay on a little longer. And I feel like because these are like these beautiful glossy lipsticks, but they are not goopy and long wearing, I feel like they are just a step up from what we usually see. I really, really like these. All right, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like my order isn't really like very orderly, but we're just gonna move on to the blushes. And I actually have a lot of blush to talk about in this category because I've tried a lot of blush. I've loved a lot of blush. If you wanna hear more about my blushes, I did a blush ranking. I'll talk about the blushes a little bit more in depth there. I'm gonna be a little bit like shorter in my descriptions over here because I've already talked about these quite a bit. But first up, we have the Kaleidos Mono blushes from the Alma Viva collection. I am just in love with these i love them so much i'm wearing both of these and both of the shades that i have today this is the shade pearl bliss which is kind of like a rosy brown kind of shade which i absolutely love it just makes me look kind of bronzy and then it's kind of like this matte but not flat very perfecting very airbrush kind of formula and because of these blushes i've actually gotten into matte blushes a little bit more like i am liking a matte blush but not a flat blush just like a very uh, just a very like 
perfecting blush that's what i've been into then we have pale rose this is a very cool toned light rose shade kind of like a light pink kind of icy pink i've been enjoying this so much but it's not going to be for every skin tone i don't recommend it to everyone or anyone but if you're around my skin tone you have kind of like cool undertones like these are really pretty blushes and yeah i'm just a, i'm just a big fan of those really love those they are just very easy to wear i have just been grabbing for them consistently like these are the blushes that i've used the most this past year then the essence pure nude baked blush in 01 shimmery rose this is kind of like this perfecting formula but then the shimmery version this is a beautiful blush topper you can throw it on like on everything anything and it will just kind of like smooth over the whole situation i'm wearing this one as well i'm wearing three of the blushes here it is just gorgeous it is just perfecting there's just something about it which makes your skin look so good and glowy but not shimmery not too metallic it is very very flattering baked i love it then we have the kiko milano create your balance counter boost powder blush in 02 with highless pink i don't know if it's still available but i do want to mention it again I love this formula it is kind of similar to the kaleidos ones where it's very like matte but not flat very perfecting this shade i really love because it's kind of like the undertone is this is and this is a very cool tone pink but there's something a little grounded about it there's something a little deeper about it where it will work for more skin tones like it's kind of like that very popular very cool tone pink but it's kind of like the updated version the more wearable version the version that will still get you kind of like that fresh look but just a little different just making it a little bit more like it's just it's just such an interesting shade i love it i've been wearing it a bunch then we also have the essence um essence then we also have the catrice cheek lover marbled blush in 010 dahlia blossom this is a beautiful kind of like a rosy pink glowy baked blush it is a bit more pigmented but it just blends out beautifully effortlessly really really enjoying it this is a great kind of like sister of the like more corally version that is of this blush this one is a little different though in formula it's a little bit more like powdery creamy i feel a little less glowy but still kind of like creamy glowy looking on the skin really been loving this then we have uh, the uh, kika milano powerful love ruby cheek duo creamy blushes these duos have stolen my heart they are amazing i love the formula and this is very different actually from other things that i've tried in like cream blush formulas this is the one in 02 lovebirds and this one is more kind of like nude we have kind of like a toned down coral this is a shade that i haven't really seen in many places but i really love the tone of this and then we have kind of like a more brown nude shade this formula is just very easy to work with very easy to use the tones of this are a little lighter when you actually use it then it looks in a pan um they are kind of like this they almost blend like a powder but they still look creamy and very flattering on the cheeks and i just love the shades and the vibes it's just a great launch of, of cheek duos we also have a romeo and juliet and this one has more kind of like red shades and this is my favorite of the two because it's really out there but still wearable like still easy to use not too pigmented we have a more like darker red and a more kind of like strawberry or raspberry red really love the shades in this as well like these are amazing <laughs> i love the tones all right just had to change my battery so if anything looks different that is the reason why lastly i did want to mention the nimia cream blushes these are pretty new in my collection but i've enjoyed them a lot since i got them and they are just a very interesting formula and very interesting shades so they all come in a little box like this and then in the box we have the little sponge that um is specifically designed to fit in this little pot because a huge like a normal size sponge or blush brush is not gonna fit in here so you get an extra one like a free one in here this formula is very pigmented but very blendable when you first apply it you can get a little scared but then when you just take a little bit of time to blend it out it just meshes into the skin beautifully it's kind of like this skin like finish i wouldn't really call it matte kind of depends what you put under it as well like what kind of like foundation primer or whatever but it kind of like adapts to that it is this not flat very skin like finish they do dry down they are very blendable really love the shades like this 
peach is such a fun shade. We also have a cool tone pink, which is called Pink Ranger. This is such a fun pink shade. I think this one is just so fun. And then we also have a kind of like coral shade. And this one is called Hey Carl. And this one looks very scary in the packaging. But then we actually apply it, at least on me, it becomes kind of like this rosy tone, which makes it kind of natural. I feel like we have some great tones here to start as well. Like we have a cool tone and we have a very warm tone shade. And then we have kind of like an in-between rosy neutrally shade. I really like these. Like I think they kind of pull me out of my comfort zone. They really get me into some fun color blushes. And I just really like the way these apply and just the way these look. They are very airbrushed, very perfecting on the skin. I do feel like with such bright blushes, I do like to wear a little bit of like base makeup. Like sometimes I would just go in with blushes. Like most of the time I will go in with blushes just on my bare skin, just where I applied my skincare. I won't be applying uh, kind of like a tinted base or anything but with these I do feel like they look the best when your skin is just a little bit perfected already because it just it's just very bright and that kind of meshes in a little bit better like they are for makeup like you will see that you're wearing blush for sure with these like they are blendable but they are still bright <laughs> let's move on to some highlighters First up, I have here the Kika Milano Beauty Essentials Glowy Face and Body Highlighter. The Beauty Essentials Collection and the Powerful Love Collection from Kika Milano. Those were my favorites of the year and a lot of those actually ended up in this video. Like, those were great collections. They did a great job with it. This is a champagne cream highlighter, but it just melts into the skin. It looks so flattering. Um, I feel like it is probably similar to the creamy stick highlighters that they have in a regular line used in a different packaging but i haven't really tried those like i've had them years and years and years ago but i haven't really tried them recently so i, I guess i should kind of compare at some point but i really love this like on its own it's just great it just looks very natural effortless but you can build it up it blends out in two seconds it is just it doesn't mess with anything. It is just a very easy to use, a very beautiful product. Like with cream products, for me, it's very important that they are easy to use. And if they are kind of like mindless to me, like I don't really have to think about it, I just use them and I go back to them, then I know that this is a good cream product. Like it looks good and the application is just effortless. I love it. Then one that I discovered a little bit more recently, I'm wearing this one today. This is the Moira Dreamlight Highlighter in 05 Love Struck. And this is gorgeous. I have used it a bunch since I got it. I hope you can kind of see. I did blend it in with my matte blushes um, that I just talked about, but this is very beautiful. Like it meshes with the skin so well. It is kind of, there's something slightly sparkly about this almost, but it's kind of like so fine that it looks like this veil of sophisticated shimmer. And it is the type of shimmery highlighter that I like. I think if you hate shimmery highlighters, you're probably still gonna like this because it just blends in seamlessly. It just looks so natural. And I feel like this shade also is beautiful. It is so fresh looking kind of peachy pink it's a type of shade that i really like this is like the nabla skin glazing highlighter in privilege but like a step up a step more like interesting because the skin glazing is like totally smooth and this one is a little bit of a sparkle it's kind of like one step more amped up I still love the skin glazing. It's not, I wouldn't say that this is better per se, but it's kind of like that vibe, that tone, that like amount of blending into the skin, but just a little like amped up. And I'm kind of like thinking, should I buy more of this? Because this is so good. Next up, the last for my highlighters. I haven't tried a lot of highlighters that really, really impressed me. And I haven't tried that many highlighters in general, but these three highlighters, they have been like my consistent go-tos throughout the year. This is the Kika Milano, the Little Mermaid All Over Highlighter Zero Two Reflection on the Sea. This one is kind of like a cool tone, champagne-y, like pink leaning, beige LA highlighter. This looks so smooth on the skin, so smooth, glowy, blends in, looks creamy. It's kind of like this wet look sheen. No sparkle in this at all. This is a beautiful type of Beige Formula. 
I really, really enjoy this one. This one is great. All right, we have a few bronzers to talk about. First up, the NARS Laguna 01. This is a new shade from a formula that I already tried, but I love this shade so much that I do want to mention it. This shade is so good for kind of like neutral to cool tone undertones when you are fair. Like I love wearing this right now in the like fall winter. This is a great shade for me. I just love the undertone of this. It is just kind of like this sand colored kind of bronzer and it just meshes with my skin so well it also blends out so easily it is a great formula it looks creamy it looks perfecting but it is not sticky or too dewy it is just a great formula with a great tone and i would highly recommend checking this out if you don't mind spending a little more on a bronzer and if you have a similar undertone to me then a bronzer that isn't really like didn't surprise me it's kind of like what i expect from kikim lano it is nothing really special, but still I just kept going back to this and I feel like it deserves a place here. This is the Create Your Balance Color Boost Face Bronzer in 01 Sienna. Like, we have seen bronzes like this from Kiko over and over and over again, but still something about this just pulled me in and kept me using it and using it and using it. This is just such a beautiful kind of like neutral to cool tone bronzer with a very like skin-like perfecting finish, very similar to the blush in the collection. Just makes your skin look so good. This is a beautiful bronzer and just so easy to use, so easy to blend. It is effortless to me. And then this one is going to be kind of like an honorable mention because I have only been using it for a little bit. This is the Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contour by Kiki Milano, but this is in the shade 203. If you follow me, then you know that shade 200 is like my absolute favorite cream product, like cream bronzer. Is it, 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 it's kind of like at the top spot with the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in the shade Light. Like those two, they are both amazing in their own right. But this is kind of like the more bronze version, less contour, more bronze of that 200 shade. And I've been loving it since I got it, but I just got it like very recently i've only had it for like a month but this shade is beautiful because it's kind of like this bronze without being orange it makes me look like i look when i have actually been in the sun with my cool to neutral undertone it's just kind of i don't know how to do it it's just warm without being orangey it's just the perfect tone it makes me look so tan and the other one is really more like like a cool tone bronze like truly cool toned, truly kind of a contour shade. Um, a lot of people can use it as a contour shade. If you're a little less cool toned, then it will definitely work. That one is just very soft. And this one is a little bit more out there, but very bronzy. And then the bronzer that I'm wearing today, this is She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour in Golden Sun. This is just very effortless to use, very easy to blend. I love the tone of this. I love the finish of this. It's very skin-like. It isn't sticky. Like it is subtle. I feel like it looks subtle, but it's just like you don't see a lot of bronze here, but it just adds a little bit of that subtle bronziness, a little bit of dimension to the face, but with the right tone, the right formula, it is just super easy to use. And I really, really like the way this looks on the skin. This is a favorite, but also a little bit newer for me in the year. Like I got it in like the fall, but since then I've been using it and I've been really enjoying it. All right, let's talk about the face palette. This is the Full Fantasy Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee a Full Fantasy Collab face palette. I have really enjoyed this this year, especially the shade. This is also kind of like that brown bronzer kind of shade because it's kind of, it's brown, but it's kind of rosy. So it's kind of like the shade that you can use as a combination of bronzer and blush and it just looks amazing. It, is, it looks a little scary in the pan, but it's like, this formula this is really easily blendable. It just effortlessly applies. This is the more amped up version of the Pearl Blade shade from Kaleidos. Uh, so if you are not as pale as me, but you're looking for something like that, it is in this palette. Also love the other shades. Love this cool tone pink, love the peach, love the highlighters. They are a little deep for me right now in the winter. Like I am pale right now. I'm at my palest. And these are a little deep for me, but like if I'm, a little bit more tanned, like slightly more tanned and then these blend in beautifully. They are very smooth. They look amazing on the skin. Like they don't have much base to them, so they will work for a lot of people, but I'm just like 
too pale right now. I've, I've really enjoyed this palette. All right, we have a few random things. Then we're gonna talk about brushes and then I'm gonna go into the top eyes of the palette. First up, the Catrice Soft Glam Filter Fluid Glow Booster in 010 Fair Light. I've been using this a lot. Like every time basically that I've used a tinted product on my face, I've used this. I'm not someone who uses foundation. I'm not someone who uses tinted products on my face like that a lot to even out the skin tone. It is just something that I don't really enjoy usually. I feel like it's too fussy. I feel like it's too much work. I feel like I have to think about it too much. This one is so easily blended out. I don't have to think about it. It just, it kind of sets itself on my face. I do have normal to dry skin, but even when it was a little warmer, I felt like this was pretty effortless for me to use. Now it's colder, definitely effortless for me to use. My skin definitely isn't like greasy greasy enough to break this up. I can wear this throughout the day and it's just not too pigmented where I feel like it's gonna smear. It doesn't smear, it's just so easy to use and I love kind of like the filter these places on my skin but in a very like soft and not too makeup-y way. It looks very natural and I just really really love the tone of this one as well. I think it's a great tone and I just love the amount of glow that this gives without being metallic or looking weird or looking like it's emphasizing texture or anything like that. I really really like this one. I've tried a few others this year but this has been my favorite. The only thing that I don't like is the packaging like this is falling apart but i've been using this a lot i am just gonna use it until i can't use it anymore and then, I'm, and then i'm gonna buy a new one because this is great then the nabla viper lip mask this is currently my favorite lip mask treatment product um like this i also really really love the lip balm from nimia those two are like together at the top spot i feel like the nimia might be just a little higher than this one because I've used it for a long time, I've repurchased it and that one never fails me but this one I've also really been enjoying kind of like as my nightly treatment or just applying a little bit while I'm doing my makeup before I actually go in with the lip products. This is just a big tub of juicy beautiful thick uh, lip treatment. It doesn't have any scent in it which I love because usually lip treatments have a lot of scent in it but I can be pretty sensitive to that especially during the night and this is ju it just smells like the ingredients. It just smells like jojoba oil, oil or shea butter or whatever is in here. It doesn't say here I threw away the box but just this is just really nice. It's very hydrating. It feels thick. It doesn't disappear off the lips. It really like seals in the lips. It is great i love it you get a lot of product this has been a discovery like i bought it just because i was like okay i reviewed nabla i can throw this in the card and i really enjoyed it then i don't know if i've talked about this but i feel like i have to do it at some point i just forgot when i started using it i just accepted this as my standard mascara and i just didn't think more about it than that but i feel like i discovered this this year this is the sky high lash sensational true brow mascara this is my favorite mascara it is affordable but next to that it is also like very easy to use it's just separating it's lengthening it just gives me the volume i love the shade of this it doesn't irritate my eyes and it's also like it's very easy for me to get and it also just lasts like some mascaras they dry up in like a month this one I can use for three to four months and then I will replace it. This is a great mascara. I have really been enjoying it and I just love brown mascara, but it's just so easy to find one sometimes also because I have sensitive eyes, but this one is great. And then a eyeshadow primer. This is a She Glam Ready Set eyeshadow primer. This one is the only eyeshadow primer next to the Atos one that I can use with my very oily eyelids. This actually keeps my eyeshadow on. Like I've tried so many eyeshadow primers since I started my channel to give you something, to give you an eyeshadow primer that you can get like all over the world and not just in the Netherlands because Atos, it is a Dutch drugstore. They don't really like, they're not international. They won't send out, I think, to like countries in Europe or the rest of the world. So I couldn't really recommend something to you, but now I can. This makes my eyeshadow less. It's a very similar formula to the Atos one. If you have dry eyelids, stay away from this. This is not gonna work for you. It's gonna make them look very dry and crepey. 
um, but for me it is just the right amount of very very dry and crepey it just it just works for me I just want something that doesn't make my eyeshadow crease and this does it it does keep my eyeshadow on all day long but that is basically the only thing that I want from an eyeshadow primer so be aware of that I want it to be super dry and crepey like this is this looks like it would be colored but it's like so sheer and then it's really like this thin layer that really sets it down to this powdery sticky finish I love it. All right, let's move on. This is the Color and Fix Brow Gel Mascara by Catrice. I have the shade Medium Brown 020. I've been using this since I got it. This is a great eyebrow mascara, especially if you have brows that don't stay up. Like I need something strong and this is like strong enough, especially if I like brush down first and then brush up. That is something that I always do with this brow mascara. I wouldn't do it with like very strong brow mascaras. It's not really necessary. It might get it like look a little too jelly but this just really works like that it keeps my brows up it makes them look really nice and fluffy i really like the tone of this and it's just it's not too messy um with the other brow mascara that i used before this like that i consistently used before this it was just a little messy and i just had to be very careful because it was very pigmented with this one it's very easy to apply as well like it's very easy to apply very easy to clean up if you make a mistake but it doesn't happen a lot and then it just keeps my brows up. This is really nice. It's my favorite all over. And then kind of like a random favorite, but one I just felt like I had to mention because I haven't talked about these a lot. These are the Nabla Cupid's Arrow Shine. And I grabbed two of the shades out, but I love all of the shades. But this one I feel is my favorite. This is the one in crystalline and this has a multicolored wet looking shimmer. And it's just such a nice pop to add to a look it just looks amazing it's just very like sparkly but in a very sophisticated beautiful way i did do a little tutorial with these uh arrow shine is on my youtube channel i will see if i can link it down below but it's just a very like effortless easy way to just add some shimmer and these are just gorgeous very pigmented this is the one in soul also very sparkly very nice kind of like champagne brown shade these are beautiful i don't feel like i see a lot of people talk about them but they are really really beautiful they are very pigmented they are creamy they glide over the eye they're very easy to blend out i really really like them and i would love to see more shades of that like i like these more than all of the eyeshadow sticks that i've personally tried like these are Beautiful. All right, then I just wanted to mention the Luna Beauty Luna Universal Setting Powder in the shade Pink. I've been using this consistently. This has been standing on my desk and I've been reaching for it over and over and over again because this is a beautiful shade, beautiful formula. I love the poof that is in here. It's super easy to use and it just fits right in there and it's something that I love. And this is not too pink. It's not too dry and crepey. I feel like it works really well with my skin type i just kind of like dab it on my forehead sometimes because i feel like sometimes this gets a little too shiny or i use it a little bit around my nose because this can also be a little like there can be a little bit texture showing there so i really like it it's kind of like the finishing touch to my makeup especially if i want to take photos this is amazing this is my favorite powder because it's just so convenient to have it all in this packaging. Like, I feel like I can keep using this for years and years. Like, this tub is gonna last me a long time. And then I wanted to mention one skincare favorite. Usually, I don't really mention a lot of skincare because I'm very consistent with my skincare, but I was kind of looking for a retinol, something like that, something that give me that effect that can give me that effect but the retinols that i tried i felt were like kind of annoying formulas like too greasy too sticky like i had one that dried down like a super sticky layer and then i had one that was like super oily so i was looking for something else and i've been using the cerave surfacing retinol serum um a lot this has ceramide licorice root extract and niacinamide this just makes my skin look so good if i wear this throughout the night it doesn't irritate my skin actually i build it up though but i haven't had any crazy reactions from this i could like very easily slowly build it up and now i can wear it like 
every other night, something like that. Sometimes I wear it two nights in a row and I'm still fine. This just makes my skin look amazing. All the blemishes just kind of disappear. Like the fine lines, they look a little bit less visible. I feel like I can definitely see if I have worn this for the night. Like my skin in the morning looks glowing, looks smooth. It looks a lot better with this and I can just feel the difference. It is just such a nice product and the formula of this, it just sinks into the skin. There's no stickiness, there's no oiliness. I just do one pump, I spread it over the face and it just amazing it looks amazing it feels amazing it just sinks in i've been really enjoying this like this is my favorite type of retinol product that i've tried this far all right let's talk about some perfumes the one that i'm wearing today um that i'm also applying in the get it ready with me this is the king milano holly premiere l'etoile golden this is a beautiful scent i feel like it's very kind of it smells like spices but at the same time it's very warm and sensual but not too heavy it is just a very nice kind of holiday wintery perfume without being too much like that i feel like you can wear this throughout the year but it's maybe in the summer it would be more of a like going out to dinner like going out perfume but this is really nice i really like the scent of this the first time that i sprayed it i felt like it smelled a little weird but the dry down is just amazing like when the warmth and the spices just really like like if when you really start smelling that beautiful combination i really really like this i feel like it might still be available it is a limited edition but this is like one of my favorite scents for sure that i've tried this year then another one that i don't think is available anymore but also on kika milano also from a kika milano limited edition this is the powerful love quartz romans perfume i've used this a lot this year this is very sweet it's very fresh it is very like kind of crisp crispy sweet smelling but i really like it it's just fruit and a little bit floral and just very fresh and sweet and i don't know it just makes me think of valentine's day in such a good way i really love it i i don't think you can get it anymore but i've been really really enjoying this and then the last one that luckily i'm happy is not limited edition the only thing i don't like about it is the packaging is like this doesn't this doesn't stay on but this is the yum pistachio gelato perfume i'm so glad that i bought it i did buy it in a little um packaging because i cannot smell this in store anywhere here in the netherlands as far as i know so i'm basically paying 30 euros to try a perfume but did watch a few reviews i did read up on the notes a little bit and i'm happy that i took the chance because this is amazing it is warm it is sweet it is nutty i feel like because of the nuttiness that is in here it doesn't get too like sickly sweet gourmand or like a cake it is a very sophisticated gourmand scent and i just love kind of like this nutty undertone that is in here that makes it very warm kind of sensual and kind of like sophisticated this is a great perfume i feel like this is my favorite out of the three and every time that i smell this i'm just like so happy i love pistachio it is it's just the best all right let's talk about some brushes all right something that i have to mention is the brushes from the luna beauty and laura lee full fancy collab i have enjoyed these so much um the eye brushes i really love and especially the highlighter brush and the blush brush these have been my favorite go-to highlighter and blush brush and i have had the same go-to highlighter and blush brush for years for like maybe 10 years i have had those for so long and they got dethroned by these because these are just so good they are fluffy they are the right shape they are just they make it so easy to apply i just feel like this blush brush isn't too big it's just so easy to go in like that i love how fluffy this highlighter brush is and i just I just always want to use that and when i use another highlighter brush i'm just a little disappointed um the shadow brushes also work really well like i love all of these brushes they are a little bit like you do feel like they are synthetic but there's just something about them they work really well they are really nice shapes they are just shapes that i go back into and with the this shape uh this is the number three brush like this is such a good shape to apply eyeshadow in the crease with or like even because it's a little flat you can apply eyeshadow on the lid like, this is a very good like do anything you want with it on the eyes kind of brush 
um, really really enjoy this set. I am usually not really a person that has a lot of brush favorites but there just something happened this year where my favorite like my favorite brands came out with brushes and I tried them and I was blown away. Uh, my favorite YouTuber basically, Angelica Fist, she came out with her own beauty brand. She came out with Singe Beauty and she came out with this brush set. And these brushes are just amazing. They are synthetic, but they feel and work like real hair brushes. Like they have the grip to it. They are not like too smooth. They are just a little bit like there's a little grit to them they are a little bit like you can feel the hairs they are just not too soft and because of that these work amazing like these are great eye brushes i feel like she chose great shapes i just go back to these and use these over and over and over again that's why i also bought her new brushes because i was really excited to find out if it was the same good quality like i need to know I, just, I got into brushes because of this. Like, I need to know what the new shapes are, how they work, am I missing out? Because once I tried this, I was like, okay, maybe I was missing out. Maybe I didn't have the perfect brushes, and now I do. I really love these. I've been using them consistently since I got them. Like, these are my go-to eye brushes. The last category is eyeshadow palettes. And this is my top five from my ranking. If you want to hear me talk more about these, watch my eyeshadow palette ranking because i already ranked these i'm gonna try and be a little bit speedy also because i feel like i've been talking for such a long time first up we have the flower nose swan ballet in 03 pink swan eyeshadow palette i love pink shades and i really really love the like wet looking shiny sparkly eyeshadows that are in here like these two shimmers are amazing love the looks that i've done with this the quality in this is impeccable the only thing that i would say is that these two mattes are a little similar but i just i really get excited about this look this palette and the formulas like those shimmers are out of this world amazing some of the best shimmers that i have in my collection then we have the what's a beauty by the way this is not in the order that i ranked it i'm just like randomly grabbing these palettes so if you want to know the order then you have to go to the ranking anyway this is the what's a beauty dragon eye eyeshadow palette this is such a beautiful color story for people who want like sparkly amazing very shifty shadows but also wanted to keep it a little neutral like not too adventurous with the mattes um the shimmery shades in here are out of this world amazing so shifty so sparkly i love them the mattes are very easy to blend they are very like soft and silky sometimes i feel like they're a little bit soft compared to the shimmers but i still really love this palette i love the looks that i've done with it like the shifts in some of these shades are just like something i've never seen before by the way i got this in pr but i just i just love it i've just really enjoyed it i feel like i would have bought this if i hadn't gotten it in pr because it just looks so amazing in the swatches and i would say that this really lives up to those swatches like the shifts in here like they did a great job the shimmers they don't need any help they don't need a spritz they don't need a glitter glue they just like apply so magically on the eyes i've just really been enjoying this palette it's a great one highly recommended like if you want something super super colorful maybe this isn't for you but if you're like me you love neutrals and you love dabbling into shifty shades and sparkly shades like this is a good one then we have the Glaminatrix Cosmetics a Rich Romantic. This is a beautiful romantic color story with greens, purples, reds, peaches, pinks. And I've just enjoy been enjoying this a lot. This has beautiful formulas. I love the mattes in here. They blend effortlessly. They are pigmented. They are buildable. The shimmers are just out of this world stunning. Some of my favorite shimmers in my collection. Probably my favorite shimmers from Glaminatrix as a brand. Like I have just enjoyed this so much. I love colors like this. And I love the pop of crunchy green. It just, it makes me feel like this is inspired by a romantic garden. It is just stunning. I also really love the shade Intoxicating. But all of these shimmers, all of the mattes, I've just been enjoying this a lot. And I've just had a lot of fun creating looks with this. And then we have the Onasai and Angelica Nick Fist Little Ghost Eyeshadow Palette. This has pleasantly positively surprised me i love the shades that are in here i love that they're all leaning very cool toned like except for this bottom it's a little bit more corally but this all is leaning very cool tone we have really deep shades and then really light shades we have a lot of options here what i really ended up liking about this palette is that it is colorful but it's kind of like still 
muted. There's something muted about it. You can do something a little soft. It's not like super, super bright. There's something you can do soft looks. You can do looks that you will like, that I will like as a more so neutral lover that dabbles into color. Like this is still a very inspiring, easy to use palette to me. I especially love the blues in here. The blues are absolutely amazing. I love the undertones. I don't feel like I have any blues like this. And these are my favorite blues in my collection because I just love how they are kind of soft. Like you can go a little bit more bright if you like, um, use this one as well but if you go into this like they're kind of soft kind of like if you had nude blues that is what it would be and I have just enjoyed this palette a lot the formulas are amazing the color story is really inspiring it's it's just a great one and then the palette that I'm wearing today and the last product for this video this is the full fancy Luna Beauty and Laura Los Angeles collab I love this color story it is kind of grungy but it's also neutral it's kind of colorful but it's still neutral and you can go a lot of directions with this you can still do kind of like a purpley look a bluish look a green look we have a lot of different textures and I just love all the looks that I've done with it I feel like today it's just soft but still special and it just gets me really excited and it just feels very like intuitive to go into this and create looks. It's really easy. And like this is a palette where I've gone into to do the similar uh, to do a similar look again. Usually I don't really do that, but this like got me there. I thought that I could do this in like 30 minutes. I've been filming for much longer than an hour. We're gonna see how long this video is gonna get. But I just had a great makeup year. I've tried so many beautiful products. Once again, if you want to see it in action, this Get Ready With Me is coming. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. And then I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.